What? Okay, they are real. Guys, do you know this is a real flamingo? Stay here rather than in Nairobi. Guys, look at this tortoise. So guys, it's a bright morning and I'm preparing tea here. As you can see. Wow, I just love this place guys. I really love how the lighting is just penetrating into the house. The Oh my goodness, you can't imagine. Just can't imagine guys. Can you see everything outside? Wow, it's a bright morning guys. These are jacaranda trees. What? This place is just amazing. One disadvantage is that um, it's located just next alongside a road so there is noise somehow but everything else is just amazing guys i'm now heading outside and my wasili has arrived i'm going to hyrax museum here in nakuru city i hope you're going to enjoy watching everything in that museum guys so we are now hitting the road So this is my ticket to enter Hyrax Hill Museum. This is the history of research at Hyrax Hill. Hyrax Hill prehistoric site and museum where heritage lives on. Hyrax Hill Hi Hyrax Hill Archaeology. But yeah, guys, this is not a big museum like the one you know in Nairobi. But oh my goodness, it just looks amazing. So this is the door. This is the entry. The entry. Then on this left side, you have this. What is this? So that's the hill itself, the Hyrax Hill. So Sirikwa people. Uh -huh. So Sirikwa, okay, I don't know, I can't see well. <laughs> I don't see far. Wow, okay, just love this. Looks amazing. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, this looks like a bomber. Actually, of course, it's a bomber for the Sirikwa people. Who occupied the Sirikwa people who occupied site two were a pastoralistic community. You know, pastorals keep pastorals keep um, cattle, sheep, goats, and all those donkeys assimilated into the Maasai. And okay, the Sirikwa people later assimilated into Maasai and Kalenjin cultures. I okay, just love history, <laughs> but unfortunately, I, d I never did history in high school. But I love history. I just love. I love traditional things. I don't know why. I need to. Yeah, because I might read when I go back home. I just feel like I need to know more about these Sirikwa people. You see, the Aboma, the way it was, this is how the Aboma used to look like. And you have, you can see their kettles here, the small trees. Oh my goodness. That landscape is just amazing. Can you see? Iron bracelet. What? I okay, love history, you guys. Portrait from Pit B. So, identity and status. So, we have these traditional attires. This is how they used to wear, guys. Yeah, this one here is number one. Can you see it? So, they're saying girls front apron. Oh, it was a girl's front apron and there and in there. Can you see? We have a note here. This note here. It, it was a girl's front apron. Mwengu. That's the um, native language. Agikuyu, you see. So 20th century. Traditionally, teenage girls wore these aprons daily. 
this was made from goat skin with beads yeah so here it's the girl's front attire number two they're saying it's girl's apron now wait nandi oh now this one is for nandi this one Mwengu, is for agikuyu but this one is for nandi they're calling it now wait it was in 20th centuries so we have also these ones here these are ornaments so i'm just gonna show you briefly and just do this so that you guys can pause and read because i want you to learn more know more about african culture okay so you see the necklaces you see you guys head ornaments this one actually i love this one i love love this one and this one is belt it's a belt and this one is uh oh my goodness these are earrings how big are they what these are too big this age <laughs> okay we have headbands headbands earrings at least these ones make sense but these ones these are two big earrings oh my goodness we have um amulets see they were like yeah these are amulets brass amulets so suruti these are for the samburu people and these are for the pokot make sure you read them guys and we have the two gen earrings what these are too big made made and worn by married women on each earlobe it has beads and zip fastener see you on with a cow or a goat what amulet this looks like it's too heavy imagine this thing is an amulet what for the maasai people how this is too heavy but it was worn by warriors not just any other person they look so real any of you guys that thing is is not even real but what okay they are real but okay no okay me i'm afraid what what me i'm afraid guys but wow okay let me start from the lake nakuru basin okay, you guys i just love everything to do with animals or any other natural resource guys do you know this is a real flamingo nivile imekaushwa can you see yeah imekaushwa actually that's the water bag here it is wow no 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 i i don't want to have weird dreams at night but i don't know if you can see i'm just zooming but that is the spitting cobra me can't go near it guys i'm so sorry for real i'm not pretending but that thing is my worst fear why i just can't go any closer so guys that's all for this place it's an amazing place yeah you need to visit this place guys the ticket is only a hundred kenyan shillings like imagine so affordable so guys as you can see the ticket is only a hundred kenyan shillings and you get in you can have a tour guide who explains for you everything everything in this place or still if you you can just still enter by yourself and just read everything by yourself okay so it doesn't matter guys look at those wow this is amazing let me zoom for you so that you can see can you see them guys look at these tortoise what they are so big i just love a place with trees guys like oh my goodness can you see like there are a lot of trees actually the hyrax museum is interior is in the interior so you just need to tell your cab person your cab driver or wasili here in akuru the cabs are called wasili so you just need to tell them where you're going or just you okay you just it's an application you know so you just say you want to go to hyrax um hyrax what <laughs> hyrax hey hyrax museum and they will definitely bring you here okay so i don't know if you can see the trees i just love the trees guys i love anywhere full of trees full of greens okay
guys here is the menu so i'm gonna find something to take for lunch yeah hmm. this is breakfast and it's lunch oh my goodness why am i looking at so let me look then i'll show you what i've ordered So guys this is what i ordered i ordered pork ribs and chips and this is how it looks i can't wait for this to just get into my mouth you guys it looks so juicy oh eish nakuru like i never expected this it looks amazing it's one of the best places to work and stay it's also a i just realized it's also a clean city guys what like wow i would stay here rather than in nairobi this place looks amazing what it's so clean